8% of change. Good day students, welcome back to my classroom. For today's lesson, you will learn how to solve percent problems involving percent of change, which are percent of decrease and increase. Let's begin! Let's have our first example. The price of a notebook increased from 9 pesos to 12 pesos. Now, what is the percent of change of the notebook? Hmm. But what is the percent of change? Percent of change tells you how much a quantity increases or decreases based from the original amount. There are two types of percent of change. When the original amount increases, that is percent of increase. When the original amount decreases, that is percent of decrease. Now let's go back to our problem. Here, it is said from the given situation that the price of a notebook increase. That means we are looking for the percent of increase. To solve or to get the percent of increase, we need to divide the amount of increase by the original amount. But how are we going to get the amount of increase. Do you have any idea? Wonderful! You are right! To get the amount of increase, we need to subtract the original amount from the new amount. This gives us our new formula, which is percent of increase equals new amount minus original amount over or divided by the original amount. Now, let us substitute the given. The new amount or the new price of a notebook is 12 passes minus the original amount or the original price of a notebook which is 10 passes divided by the original amount which is 10. Now let us solve. 12 minus 10 is 2 divided by 10. Now let us divide 2 by 10. 2 divided by 10. Since 2 is smaller than 10, let's add point zero. There! Let's put first the decimal point aligned from the decimal point in the dividend. There you go. Now let's divide. 20 divided by 10 is 2. 2 times 10 is 20. 20 minus 20 is 0. Our answer is 0.2. But since we are looking for the percent, we need to change the decimal into percent. Let's move the decimal point two times to the right. One, two. Let's put zero to the empty place value. And then change the decimal point into percent sign. Now, our final answer is 20%. This means that the percent of change of the notebook is 20%. Wonderful! Now, let's have another one. Let's try our second example. The price of a pen decreased from 10 pesos to 6 pesos. Now, what is the percent of change of the pen? Since we can see from the given situation that the price of pen decreases, it means that we are looking 
or the percent of decrease. Now to get the percent of decrease, we need to divide the amount of decrease by the original amount. But how are we going to get the amount of decrease? Yes, you are correct. We can get the amount of decrease by subtracting new amount from the original amount. Let us write it down. The original amount or the original price of the pen is 10 pesos minus the new amount or the new price which is 6 pesos over or divided by the original amount which is 10. Now let us solve. 10 minus 6 is 4 divided by 10. Let's divide 4 by 10. Since we know that 4 is smaller than 10, we need to add 0. .0. There you go. Let's put first the decimal point above. Now let's divide. 40 divided by 10 is 4. 4 times 10 equals 40. Now let's subtract. That gives us 0. Now our answer is 0.4. But we need to convert it or change it into percent. Let's move the decimal point 2 times to the right. 1, 2. And put 0 in the empty place value. There you go. And don't forget to change decimal point into percent sign. Now our answer is 40%. This means that the percent of change of the pen is 40%. Great job! Wonderful job, students! Now here are the things that you learned today.